Richie in Raleigh, North Carolina. What's up, brother Richie? How we doing, man? Hey, Rich. Uh, sir, uh, Dr. Deloney. Good morning. I'm, well, I'm really nervous. Sorry about that. Hey, I am too, man. I, I'm still... <laughs> I. When's the last time you crushed a sleeve of cookies, man? Uh, I, I think it's been a few months at least. Honestly. See, talking but. to people with self-control is... It's good for me. Hey, so what's up, brother? Thanks for calling, man. How can I help, dude? Oh, thank you, Dr. Deloney. First of all, thank you so much for taking my call. I really do appreciate it, sir. Um, uh, my, my name's Richie. I live here in Raleigh. Um, I'm a Marine Corps veteran. I'm originally from a small town up in Ohio. Um, and I've been out of the Marine Corps for a few years now. Um, I, I am or I was um, an emotionally abusive uh, boyfriend or ex-boyfriend uh, with my ex a few years ago. Um, and I'm, I, I've kind of started dating this one new girl again. I've been out of the dating scene for a few years and I'm honestly, I'm terrified. Mm. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect. Uh, my relationship with my parents is not very good at all. Um, I, I started going to church, but that's, I I mean, that's hit or miss. That's a whole other Um, conversation, right? (laughs) Yeah, honestly. Um, but I, I'm I'm terrified. I, I don't want to repeat this. I've mm-hmm. been going to therapy for a little over a year now. Okay. And um. So what what yeah what does well number one dude. Just I, I, you've done some brave things in your day, and this is probably up there at the top. Um, I've run around with guys. I've been a part of SWAT trainings and worked the military. I've seen some stuff and heard some even wilder stories. And there's always components of bravery, but as far as I'm concerned, there are few braver things than saying I'm an emotionally abusive guy, and I don't, I, I, I want to be different than that. So, yeah. on behalf of men everywhere, and more importantly, behalf on behalf of the wives and kids that are subject to that, thank you for being a brave guy and trying to turn and stare this thing down. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. Um, doesn't excuse you being an idiot, right? But you're a brave right. guy, right? So walk me back a couple things. Um, how long are you in the in the in the Marine Corps, man? I, I just did four years. Four years. What, four what years. was your exit rank? Yeah, uh, I got out as a sergeant. Okay, outstanding, man. So did you see combat? Did you go overseas? What, what was your roles? I went overseas twice. I was motor T. Um, I was never personally in combat. However, I was in the uh, the area. If that makes any sense at all. Yeah, dude. Of course. Um, with, Hey, everybody's on the team, man. Everybody's on the team. Yeah. I know there gets to be a, oh yeah, well I, well I, man, you went overseas and you and you serve your country, brother. So I appreciate that. So tell me about what emotional abusive means. What does that mean to you? What'd you do? Oh man, I I was pulling, manipulative. I lied. Um, all I mean, oh for God's sake. Um, it was. I I. I became a Christian, uh, if that matters at all, after we, uh, after I joined the military, and I, w- I was like teetering the fence of, uh, hey, we shouldn't be having sex, but hey, let's go have sex, mm-hmm. you know, and and so she was torn because she was, she, I, I think she believed in God mm-hmm. at the time. I'm not even sure anymore. Um, this is a few years ago now. Hey, you're cycling but, out uh, on me though. Hold on, you're 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 doing some oh. excellent evasive maneuvers. How are you emotionally abusive? Oh. Um, I made it all about myself. I was selfish. I didn't care what she wanted to do. I didn't, I, I wanted, I wanted to please myself in the relationship. Hmm. I wanted to, if I wanted to go out and party, I was going to go out and party and leave her behind. Hmm. Um, I, it, it was, I, and if I wanted to go see other girls at the same time, I was going to go do that too. Gotcha. Um, so that, that makes, yeah. it makes Th- that makes it sound more like you were just a jerk, like just a yeah. scummy boyfriend. How are you abusive? Um, did you yell at her? Did you swear at her? Did you did you put your oh, hands yeah. on her? How are you um, abusive? Oh, uh, well, I, she cried all the time, mm-hmm. all the time in the relationship. So, and I. And this is I, I I've given my myself a, like a self diagnosis if that matters at all, Doctor Deloney. Um, but I've just I I figured that this is all as I reflect it must have been all emotional abuse, okay. not physical, never physical, but okay. it was always 
manipulation. She was crying all the time. And even towards the end of the relationship, I was like, listen, I am so unhappy and you are so unhappy. She wanted to stick through the relationship. And I was like, this is bonkers. Hmm. Um, so where did you where did you yeah. pick that up? Where did you learn to talk to somebody in that way? Where did you learn that your oh man your path was the most important path and someone that you love? Who cares, man? Um, friends, family, whatever. Um, virtue, uh, values. Screw all that. I'm plowing through with whatever I want to do. <laughs> oh man, um, it. It uh, it really. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, it's all good, brother. It, it, somebody, uh, somebody it, taught you that. Where'd you pick that up? Was it mom or was it dad? Uh, was it the the no, core? Where'd where'd you, where'd it, you pick it up? It, it was my father. It was my father. It it our relationship basically it, it became an exact mirror image of my parents' marriage. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so this is how men treat married, women, right? Yeah, literally. That that was what I knew. And I'm 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 the only guy. It was me, my dad, and I've got four sisters. Mm-hmm. So you know, it was, it was. I oh man, it was awful. Okay. Um, so yeah, you break up with this with this woman, and you take yeah. some time off. Why'd you take some time off? I I felt like I was being suffocated. You were being sense. suffocated. Yeah. <laughs> how ironic right it's like I, honestly, it's like you got both hands around somebody's neck and you're choking them to death and you stop choking because man my hands are sore right like you're the yeah. you're on the bottom end of this deal so then yeah. you meet somebody and you fall back in love and you've already done something stupid what have you done so far well i mean i i I took some time off from dating, and I've, I've been going to therapy. And mm-hmm. now, very recently, I've started dating again. Yeah, but so you've already violated what you had had. You had some ideas about some pictures about what this thing was going to look like. You've already screwed those up. What have you already done? Oh, we're already sleeping together. Okay. Like, if, if that's what you're getting at. No, 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 no. Um, I, I'm I'm getting at. Well, have you already? lied to her have you already pressured her to do something she wasn't comfortable with have you already gone out and seen somebody else when you this woman thinks she, y'all are exclusive have you already yelled at her have you already like swore at her flexed uh, on her a little bit you know, it's it, it's the online dating apps is what it is i'm what? chatting up with other with other women at the same time okay and so what made you say yeah. enough I, I want to change, man. I want to be different. I want to. I, I want to do this as right as I possibly can. I want to. I, I. I'm so. This is what I said recently to my therapist. I said I'm so sick of just putting on a front and playing pretend. I'm exhausted. It, it, it's like I'm exhausted from it. I hope that makes sense. But I'm just like. Yeah, totally. I. 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 I, I want to be. A new person. I want to be a different person. I want uh, playing the games. Is uh, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm turning thirty soon. You mm-hmm. know, like yeah. I can't keep doing this, man. Yeah. Like, dude, I, I, I want something different. I want this change. I want this anything and everything. I, I'm, I don't want to keep repeating my parents' marriage. You there know, you go. I mean, that ended years ago, but. Yeah. But, but it's the only picture yeah. of marriage you got. So paint me a picture of what you want. Like, what do you want this to uh, look like? Oh, man. Um, uh, white picket fence, golden retriever, and $10 million in the bank account. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I just want us to be happy together. I know, I, but I listen, be, listen. I contend. When you I'm, run from something without a direction of where you're going to head... You don't get anywhere. You just keep replaying the same tape over and over. And so where do, yeah. Do you want to be a guy who values his girlfriend, who values his wife, that she feels safe around, that he can keep his mouth shut and not ever ever swear at her, ever yell cuz yelling is the sign of a somebody who's lost all control. Yelling is what yeah. children do. Do you want to be a guy who is trustworthy and doesn't cheat 
on the person that they love. I mean, is that what you're looking for? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, but you can't say that. Why it, can't you say that? It sounds like a fantasy to me. Why? It, it sounds like something. It, it. It's like a Hollywood. It's like a Hollywood movie fairy tale lie. Um, I. I see some of these marriages, I see some of these people, and they look so happy together. And it's, I, wh- where's the honesty? Where's the struggle? Where's the, hey, we're on, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because all my military buddies, all of them are now divorced. Yeah. They're all on their second or third or fourth marriages. Like my, my, when I look at close friends of mine, when I look at my immediate family, the track record is is a big fat zero. And and I, that's that's what I that's what I see. That's what I, I, I know. That's what I... Uh, that, that's the the groups of people I surround myself with. And there you go, right I there. Don't know if that's a... Right there. Okay. That's it. So I'll tell you, can you have a great marriage? Absolutely. Does great marriage mean there's never conflict? No. Anyone who tells you that is lying to you. Marriage is hard. Real hard. And it's mm-hmm. messy, and people hurt each other, and they say, I'm sorry, and then they don't talk for a day, and then they get back together. That's the nature of marriage. It's hard. And it's always worth it. If you got two people invested in making the other person's life as good as possible. And Mm. when you look at what you want in your life, and you haven't done that, you know what you don't want. You you know the hollowness of the life you're you're in right now. The hard work is figuring out what it is you do want. And here's why that's hard to do. Because once you nail it down... Then you know there's a gap between an unmet mission and how you're choosing to live. And Mm. that's the difference uh, between you now you're able to just roll your eyes and say it's just the way it always is and this always happens this way. Once you say I Mm. want this, now you know you got to go get it. And choosing not to go get it is a choice and that falls on you. And then you can't blame your old man, you can't blame your buddies, you can't blame the system, you can't blame people lying to you, blah, blah, blah. You've got to do the hard work of saying, this is what I want. And then you got to go make that happen. It's the same as if you want to lift weights. It's the same if you want to become a better shot. It's the same if you want to move up to sergeant. You've got to do these things to get there. And then when you look around at the people around you, if, you know, wood doesn't sharpen iron. So you got to get a better group yeah. of people to hang out with. And I know a bunch of veterans with impeccable marriages that are hard and messy and full of forgiveness and full of starting over almost on a weekly basis. But I don't buy that because you were in the military, because you're hard, because you've seen stuff, that you can't have a good marriage. That's not true. Mm. It's not. And so that means it. it the question is going to come down to how bad do you want this? How bad do you want to... Be able to sleep all night without medication. How bad do you want to be able to get up in the morning? How bad do you want somebody that's going to be ride or die with you and you, her? How bad do you want kids that are going to love you and respect you and not be running around when they're 30 trying to figure out how to love somebody? How bad do you want that? And then the, the, it's relatively simple moving forward. And it's, it, it makes me sound callous, right? Because it's... Um, how do you lose weight? Diet and exercise, man. It's hard. It's simple, but it's hard, right? Yeah. This is very similar. Starting today, you will never, ever lie to a girlfriend again, period. Ever. You will never yell or swear or be disrespectful again. You may have to walk out the front door and take a walk around down the neighborhood. You may have to cut somebody off on the phone and say, hey, I need to hang up um, and I'll call you back in five minutes and then hang up the phone. You got to do what you have to do, but you have to decide, starting today, I will never do this again. And when you fail, which you will, you'll catch yourself in the middle of a lie and you'll stop and say, hold on, hold on. I did go see somebody last night and I'm sorry. I did. Or on your way to go see somebody, you will stop and you will text that person and say, I'm not coming. I'm actually in a committed relationship. And you'll turn around and go home. Mm-hmm. Or in the middle of yelling or in the middle of trying to talk somebody into sleeping with you again when she doesn't want to, you will stop and say, hey, I actually value your values. 
You'll stop. Mm. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a, a, a small picture of your old man. And every time you yell or cheat or lie, I want you to pull that picture up and I want you to look at it. And I want you to say, hey, man, I value you more than her every time. Because that's what you're choosing at this point. You're choosing to, to walk a path that your old man cut for you in the woods. He didn't do a very good job. And I don't want to be in the business of running on people's dads, but he didn't do a good job. It's way harder to carve a new path. And so I want you to carry that with you for a while. And it's just, it's just choosing. You know what, Dad? I'm going to follow you, man. I value you more than her. I value you more than my future kids I'm going to have. And at some point, you're going to have to forgive yourself for the jerk that you were. And you haven't done yet that yet either. You carry that around with you a lot. Yeah, every day. And so it's when you have, uh, you may have heard me talk about this. There's, you should feel guilty when you swear at your girlfriend. You should. Because that's garbage. It's trash. It's what children do. You should feel guilty when you yell at somebody. You should feel guilty when you lie to them. But there's a difference between losing your cool, not having the tools in your toolkit, and saying, I lied to you versus I'm a liar. Right? That's when you decide to put that brick of guilt in your backpack and carry it around with you forever. And that's what you've done. Mm. I'm a liar. I'm a cheater. I'm a scumbag. I'm just like my old man. I always will be. This is the way this is going to be forever. And the more you carry that around, all that baggage comes with you. And of course, your knees always hurt and your back always hurts. And you don't want to have to learn any new things. You're carrying all this crap around. You got to set that down, man. Okay. You got to set it down. Let's quit carrying it. I need you in my community, a whole well guy. I need you going to the gym. I need you still training in some sort of, you know, kickboxing or just I need you still taking care of yourself. I need you still having male friends in your life, good ones that will hold you accountable. And you're still trying to get better. I'm proud of you for going to counseling. Dude. That's hard to do. But it sounds like you I know folks who go to counseling for a year and they just become complaint sessions. And the counselor's happy to take your money. And you need to get with somebody that will call your bluff and hold you accountable. Okay. But here's the thing, brother. I am I'm I am just blown away by your bravery to even have this conversation. And I have 1000% confidence in you because I've seen it before. Tell me about this girl you're dating. Um we we uh we met on an online dating app um and we just hit it off really well. Okay. Um I I think we are very emotionally based people. Mhm. Mm um, well, I mean, which emotions, I guess they're not bad, but I, it's intimidating. Um, I, I try to be as logical as I can, but anyway, um, she's a really nice girl. She's a nurse full time. So mm -hmm. she works a lot. Um, I don't know. We love to laugh. We love to spend time together. Um, we're very intimate a lot. I will say, um, she has experienced some trauma in her life as mm -hmm. well. Um, not from her parents, but from uh, from an ex-boyfriend. I don't know too many details about that. I didn't ask. I didn't want to press in. I wasn't sure if it was sure uh, uh, the right place or time to ask her about that. Those those conversations um, will come in due time. The more you prove that you're trustworthy and that you're safe, mm -hmm. and one of the sad facts about people who are in traumatized in relationships full of trauma is the body craves homeostasis, man. It knows that track, and it will go find that track again. And so it doesn't surprise me that somebody who's experienced trauma finds another guy who's skilled in trauma, right? Yeah. And so I, I like like you, I like emotions, but they are directional. They're not um, – they don't often tell me the truth, right? They let me know I'm not okay. Yeah. They're alarm systems, but they don't tell me the truth. So when you get emotional, 
want you to write that stuff down, man. Get that crap out of your head and onto a piece of paper. And then go through it and say, is this true or is this not true? Am I really angry with her? Am I, or am I just scared I'm going to screw this up? And then when you can look at somebody that you care about and say, hey, I'm scared I'm going to screw this up because I've screwed this up every time in the past. And thank you for letting me say these words out loud. And it's embarrassing for me because I'm a hardcore Marine Corps vet. But I'm learning. I'm practicing. I'm trying. I don't know how to love you other than just to hug. And At some point, y'all become, when you, when you have a nurse who's dealing with trauma all day, and you're a guy who has dealt in trauma your whole life, and you're still on fight or flight, still run and run, there becomes this, man, y'all become a, um, a bandage for one another, right? Until you both bleed through the bandage, and then you got to rip it off and go find somebody else, find a new bandage, and you become somebody else's new bandage. And I want you guys to heal from the inside out. Man, you deserve that, man. You deserve that, Richie. I hate what was hap- what happened to you as a kid. I hate that model you got. And I hate that you've hurt people. But man, I'm proud of you for saying no more. Decide. Decide. I will never yell again. I will never lie again. I will always be on time. And as you tr- lean into those truths, I will never yell. By the way, anybody out there who yelled, you're a child. A child. Who gets so mad I have to raise my voice. That means you've completely lost control of yourself and anybody you're trying to lead. Yelling instantly turns people into fight or flight. All they are thinking about at that point is how do I get out of this situation towards safety? Quit learning. Quit trying to connect. But I'm going to say no more. I'm going to say no more. And I think you can, Richie, if you decide. So I want you to go to your counselor and say, I'm making some declarations and I need some accountability and I want to work on accountability with you. And if your counselor says, well, how does it make you feel? Just get up and walk out and go find somebody else. You're better than that. You need somebody better than that. But I'm proud of you, brother. I'm proud of you. Now it's time to go do the hard work and make change. That starts with deciding where you want to go, where you want to go.